I'm Larry Meyer with iPhone 3G and one of the best things about it, the App Store. So let's take a look at it. The App Store is something that comes out of the box on iPhone 3G. You can also install it on an original iPhone or an iPod Touch. But the cool thing about it on the 3G is you're actually able to download applications right from the App Store. It's really, really cool. So we can go and surf through all kinds of applications. Almost everything you can imagine is here from the New York Times to PayPal to Evernote. Um, there are free applications. You just tap over here for the free ones. And there are also top applications like Super Monkey Ball we're going to show you in just a second. Lots of exciting stuff. And this is all, for the most part, applications that have been developed by third-party developers, some by Apple that work on the iPhone and take advantage of all of the iPhone's capabilities. So there's just an incredible variety of applications that you can have and at the top of the list in terms of applications you can buy is Super Monkey Ball. And we're going to take a look at that real quick. Here's how it looks in the store where you can go ahead and get more information about it. You'll get more information about the application and then you can actually go ahead and buy it or in our case it's already showing installed so all we have to do is go over and get to the icon for monkey ball go ahead and tap that icon and super monkey ball begins this game from sega is absolutely fantastic and gets you in here and actually uses the iphone we'll pick it up here in a second to be your controller as you go through this so we're going to touch the screen we're going to go to the main game, we're going to pick our character, and we're going to pick Monkey Island because we're just a beginner, and we're such a beginner, we're just going to pick easy because that's what we need to do. So now we're going to touch the screen to begin the game, and you can see it's going to zoom in with a little preliminary here, and then we're able to go and actually play this, and i see if I can navigate my, navigate my monkey in the right direction for the goal here. There we go, we've got the goal, so we can play that all day. But that's just one of many, many applications. There's also an application from AT&T, from yellowpages.com. And it's also very cool. We can go in here, and it allows you to not only search for things locally from the yellowpages.com database, but also make plans for things. And so here, if we want to search for something, we can actually just type uh, or tap restaurants we can type in um, a different city here and as we type it's going to uh, recognize where we're typing for so in this case if we start off with ch let's say we're looking for something into chicago chicago restaurants we can find chicago restaurants very quickly and we'll actually get not only restaurants listed by distance but also restaurants that are popular and uh, let's see We've got some uh, great restaurants. Uh, my daughter might want, want to go to American Girl Place, so we'll do that one. And we can easily add this to a plan, add to a new plan, and then invite other people to go as well. So that's yellowpages.com. And you'll find that one in the App Store. So now let's take a look at a few other quick applications. We've got some right here that are really pretty cool. One is Voice Record. This is a 99 cent application where you're going to record your voice on your iPhone. Very easy to use. Hello, hello, we're making a video, hello. Stop that, go back. Go ahead and play it. Hello, hello, we're making a video, hello. So very easy, and again, something that another developer came up with, but uses the features of iPhone 3G or a regular iPhone if you download iPhone software 2.0, the operating system. Um, we also have different uh, fun things and news things. We've got uh, the New York Times.com has its own application, the New York Times, and you, so you can keep up on all of the latest uh, information, all of the latest news here. We actually get this loaded in a format where we get pictures and we also um, get the story. You notice how it's formatted similar to the New York Times website, but the advantage is that it's a little faster because it's an application from the New York Times. So that's another, another example. This is a fun one right here. This is the phone saber. You can make the force be with you here. We're going to pick a red beam. It comes on, and as we move it around, you can pretend you're Darth Vader right there. and. Uh, play around with with that but by far and away so far my favorite application 
is going to be the remote. This is an Apple application we've already downloaded and what it allows us to do is control iTunes from across the room. And so we can actually go here and the computer that we've linked this to, these are the playlists on that computer. We've got a band we call AM Architect, that is called AM Architect. We're actually going to go in here and we're going to hit this to play a song. And there on the computer across the room, that song has now started playing. We want to stop it so we can play the song. We can pause the song. We can say, actually control the volume. Turn this down a little bit. Now it's playing softer. We want to bring it up a little bit. And the great thing is, because it works on Wi-Fi of your home network, this is all possible from wherever you have Wi-Fi in your house. I could be in another room and do this. Really, really cool. Free application from Apple. That's called the remote. So that's a quick look at all of the applications, well actually just some of the applications that you can get on iPhone 2.0 operating system which comes out of the box on the new iPhone 3G.